is inside or whether they're mm. fungal growth. So okay. there may be like two species rather than one, mm. or it might be just be one. Mm -hmm. They're a wild service leaf, are very distinctive, aren't yeah. they? Oh yes, there we go, that's a dried, shriveled. Yum. <laughs> <laughs> Delicious. Delicious. <laughs> Can't take it down to Rich and make a sauce for it. <laughs> if Rupert was here, he'd probably eat that now. Oh, yes, he would have done. Sure. But the leaves are very, very distinctive shape. Mm. And there is a slime mould oh. that has grown and mold. almost finished growing and got very, very good imagination. <laughs> Just at the end of my little finger, there's a little yellow spot. Yeah. <laughs> there's a single fruit body. Of, um, uh, of a slime mold in there. Oh. You, all you can just see is a little oh, bit yes. of yellow, yeah. a sort of wispy, cobwebby material there. A um, tiny little yellow blob yep. and some yellow speckles. Does anyone else want? <laughs> <laughs> Doing my damnedest to get you into slime molds. <laughs> <laughs> I need to see that Labrador. But the right. definitive textbook on fungi on plants, uh, the, the minor fungi, the rotting uh, fungi, uh, written by a couple, Ellis and Ellis. Um, they died in their 90s and they met at university uh, doing mycology. Uh, so they put 70 years apiece uh, into it. That's uh, yeah, so yeah. Really nerdy yes. uh, relationship. I bet they had one uh, more, more than one anorak between them. Yes, <laughs> yes. Um, and their book is still in print uh, because it is the the reference book, um, and they reissued it about five years ago. And my old one, uh, I gave to a colleague in France, uh, and I have I've not yet got off his. Christmas present list. Every year he <laughs> buys me a massive Christmas present because he is one of the few French people who've got the English Bible. <laughs> and it's a great book to use, but it's absolutely impossible for mycologists. You've got to know what the bloody plan is. <laughs> That's yeah. why I need someone like Ellen in the group or yeah, to, to identify the, the green thing that I'm picking the black spots off. Because I've got an absolutely no idea. I can do most of the common trees, but once it gets to the uh, the Daphne and things like that, I'm totally, yeah. totally lost. So I've got to then parasitise the the brains of the the plant people to identify the plants. And once they can find the plant, I can then remember the name and then find the the, the scrotty leaves or the fruit or whatever. So presumably you'll be able to put some new records in. I can put a couple of new records in from because the service tree will have whatever the service tree has growing on it has already been documented mm. and it might be six species it might be 36 species so it's just a matter of now I know it's here whenever I come here yeah. it's come to this tree in different seasons. in different seasons just to build up the, the yeah. catalogue because I know of a service tree in a woodland in Wiltshire and that's the only two service trees Oh, okay there's of. a few more dotted yeah. around this yeah. slope as well yeah so I think there's one in Ancestor There's Park. a whopper in Lower Woods. Is there? Yeah. Oh, right. Big, <laughs> yeah. big. Yeah. I saw it. I, oh, it yes, yes, sorry, yes. Gallerina. Yes. No, yes, not it Was yeah. it Gallerina? No. Marasmus. Yes. yes, yes. On it. Yeah. But there are right. very few woodlands I routinely go to that has service trees. In. Well, lots yeah. of our yeah. reserves do, actually. Yeah. In fact, Jackie chainsaws them out of one of her reserves. Because yeah. <laughs> they're oh, right. <laughs> weeds. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. Back off Back up, up the, the hill. Slope. Yeah, back up the hill, you're going to walk up the hill. Yeah.